<laughs> I know. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you. We are back with episode three. And what are we doing in episode three? Well, actually, I was thinking about maybe changing this, but I'm not going to. We're going to keep the Archelons. Still, are there any Archelons on the rocks? No, there aren't. Okay. I don't know why this is the case, but they ain't. They ain't doing anything. They are all able to eat fish, which is great. I will. Ooh, have we got a, have we got a social animation here? <gasps> No. Oh, God. Oh, God. They're all inside each other. That's weird. Not on YouTube. Please save it for later. <laughs> oh, that looks cute. That's cool, actually, with all the fish going, uh, not all in one space. Like, all one level, like that. That looked nice. That looked kind of, I don't know, what you could call almost natural. Uh, anyway, I'm recording this video before setting the episode two live, just because I had some inspiration. I kind of wanted to uh, give it a shot, and I haven't had the chance to put that one live. So, in the next video, we'll probably nickname uh, the Bazillasaur, and we'll also nickname the uh, the dinosaurs that we're going- oh, sorry. Prehistoric creatures, aquatic creatures. So, let's have a look at this beautiful place with what changes I've made. Basically, no. We've put a large uh, gift shop, a cafe, and a restaurant. And we've sort of you know, made it a little bit aesthetic. I was about to just add some decorations, you know, spruce up the place, add little bits of joy here and there, as well as my new favorite thing, which is just adding the, the, the fence and then the hedge fence just in front of it. So it really gives that feel of you're not enclosed and it's also, it's quite nice that way. This is going to lead into another section. I'm not too sure what we're going to do with this. I, I can see massive redwoods, even though this sort of whole playthrough or uh, park, I want to focus more on lagoon creatures. We do want to still have some of the dinosaurs in there. This might be a walkthrough area, something like that. But I've also included this because as you know, we're making a functioning park, you kind of want to make it realistic in a way. You know, normal parks have areas where guests aren't allowed to go. And this is one of those uh, utility places. So if we go just through here, yep, you go into here and then this will take you to the hatchery. It also extends a little bit further. I love this. I love this. I don't know if it's a mod or what, but it is glorious. Because uh, it really does just look as if it's, uh, it's a gate that, you know, people, you can close it if you want to. Uh, which is always very nice. Apart from that, I haven't really done any changes in here. Oh, it ran straight through you, didn't it? Look at you! Oh, so gorgeous! Look at that face! It's beautiful! It's a thing of beauty. Still really happy these are still working. Uh, and the fact that it blends in completely with the lagoon walls is an added... Ah, step of perfection, dear. This, again, I haven't added anything. Oh, look, we got a person up here! Oh, that's interesting. Do we actually have people here? Far from this guy who stole an ID. But anyway, we're not here for that. No, 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 no. We're here to go to the next enclosure. And that is not that one. It's over here. <laughs> it's this one. Welcome to the cabin. Spooky story. Well, I mean, it, it will be when it's finished. This is going to be home to a prehistoric predator. Now, we'll have a quick check underwater. I mean, they're all predators, right? Or piscophores, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so what we've decided to do, or what I've decided to do, is actually get rid of the lagoon walls by placing, well, you'll see in a second, the rocks that the turtles and the nothosaur are able to use, which is very interesting. Also, I'm just wondering if they all have... Ooh, so there you go. This, that's the view you'll get from inside the monorail as you exit and enter. Of course, we'll add the, um, whatchamacallit, uh, zip lines. That's it. We'll add the zip lines for the entrance and the exits to give it that extra uh, pizzazz. But how do you do it? How do you make such an amazing thing uh, happen? Well, I will. I'll show you. Also, I've just had a massive idea about this place because we want to make this Dunkalostius Cavern. That's what I'm thinking. And we're going to allow light to come through in these pool areas. So if you look up, there's a lot of rocks and you can't really see any bits for light to get in, except for in the massive holes there. Would be cool to block this all up. However, I don't know. I kind of like that there is some gaps 
Of course, this isn't all done because there's all of this uh, surface that you can see here. And, we'll, uh, you know, we'll speed build all of that jazz. But I'm thinking what we do is we actually add the great white shark into one of these holes, allowing, you know, the Dunkelostius to perform its amazing animation. It'd be such a shame if we put the creature in here and then you didn't see it do its amazing animation. So the monorail, people will see the Dunkelostius swim up and then jump, dive, whatever you want to call it, back down and eat the shark. Um, I'm really not too sure if we're going to actually make this viewable. Uh, we'll, we'll have a look. First, I'll show you how I managed to make this amazing thing. So, of course, it is impossible to have done this vanilla. No, we needed some extra help. Oh, I see. Okay. Ah, well, that's good. Just like the, um, the zip lines, when you move it, a little piece gets left behind. It's the same with uh, these guys. So that's why... I've had a lagoon over here to place the rocks because I thought they would stay there because I'd saved it, closed it, and um, reloaded it, and it was still they were still there. So in my head, I'm thinking, okay, well, these aren't like the, um, the zip lines. They're, they're just going to have to stay. However, that appears to not be the case. As you can see here, they're all uh, normal. What we'll do is we'll go into here. Uh, no, we don't want to move it. We want to go into advance settings, yes. So we rotate it, and then this is where we see the issue. So once I rotate it, uh, you'll notice a big chunk is gone. Where that chunk go? Well, it's actually right there. You can see it isn't moving, and that's part of the problem. <laughs> so we're just going to rotate this, and this is going to act as a mask in order to hide the terrible, terrible, boring, incredibly boring lagoon wall, dear. And now that should have completely covered the wall. There might be a few gaps. No, there you go. Ah, oh, I mean, the thing is, it does look very smooth at the moment, and it can't really be helped. We're, we're working with what we've got here, unless I want to make another 2,000 rocks and slowly and very laboriously, meticulously, very boring, uh, move all the rocks into place, then I think this is the best way we're going to do it. We could put some rocks on the floor just to cover up the seam, I suppose, and that might help. Uh, so now my next job is to make even more rocks move them all together, and then cover up what remains of the surface of this area. But before I do that, what I do, I do, 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 want to do is actually add se shark and see where I can even put it. There you go. Beautiful. We can put a shark here. There you go. So now we've got our open bit of water. So we want to keep this bit open so that the Dunkelostius will keep this bit just because why not? It's a little bit too small. I really don't know how Dunkelostius eats. It's quite a long animation, I think. So it sort of comes out and then comes down. It doesn't go up and down straight away. Basilosaur does that. The Mosasaur does that. But I don't think uh, Dunkelostius is one of those creatures that just goes up and down. I think it sort of takes a run up, gets it, and then comes down. So we are going to need the space to the left and right of it or else it might just clip into this so what i will do actually is i will delete this and we'll make another one or we could just uh, move this one so my method for building this parts of the water that was the most open and then slowly okay we have added a crud ton of i don't even want to know how many rocks does it show you no no probably for the best however let's just spruce this up a teeny tiny bit with some nice trees i don't really know what would sort of grow here I'd imagine maybe something very tropical. We'll put in like palm trees here and there. We need some big ones. I mean, they'll do. They're, they're like in a pot, a plant pot. And that actually elevates them a little bit. And if we just block out the plant pot inside a rock, it looks great. <laughs> good job. I can still hear that monorail coming through. So that's good. That uh, That's still working. I'm glad about that. Around where there are normally trees, just to show that, you know, there is some soil there. Something has taken root and other things are able to grow there too. There you go. And that it just kind of spruces it up a little bit. Makes it feel a little bit more alive. But I wonder how this looks under the water. Shall we have a look? Let's find that shark and <gasps> dive in. Yes. And here it is. The beautiful murky darkness of the cavern. Oh, that looks fantastic. Heck yeah. We should light up the monorail. I think that's, that's definitely something we need to do. The only issue I think we're going to have 
is that the Dunkelosteus is gonna clip through a lot of the rocks because I don't know I see a lot of sea creatures go near the surface and I don't think he's gonna realize that these are you know I think it's just gonna clip through them because they've been moved I could be wrong I don't know anyway let's add the zip lines our best way is to do that just move the zip line along the monorail track whereabouts I think it'll be and then Oh, we're gonna have it go in. Oh, is it coming in? Ah, there it is. Okay, it's a little bit too low. So we'll move you up a little bit like so. And then if we can, get you exactly in the middle. Perfect. And there we go. That's the entrance or exit. Let's do the other one. At least it'll be something like that. And then a little bit that way. And then, hit you again. <laughs> ah, almost got that perfect there, I think. There's only one way to find out, and that's to wait for the monorail. Let's get you. Ooh, you do clip it. Okay, there you go. Now you're good. Now you're beautiful. Right, entrance and exit done. Now, because this is a cavern, I'm thinking we spruce this up with something that would only be in a cavern. How about a sunken ship? Yes. Uh, what about another sunken ship? More precisely, the Jurassic Park 3 sunken ship. Maybe some corals could work. Corals look nice, yes. Who doesn't like a little bit of coral? I mean, they all look pretty much the same, let's be honest. <laughs> doesn't matter how much we try and spruce this up. There we go. We're looking good, looking good. You know, we don't really have much going on for ourselves when it comes to decorations here, but I'm making the best with what we've got. I feel like I'm in a race against time to make this park as quickly and as fast as possible. <laughs> Guess that's both the same thing, isn't it, really? Uh, just because I don't know when another update will come and it'll break everything. So it seems it does feel always that there's a little bit of a race against time. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, let's light up the entrance. Heck yeah. But I can place them on the... Uh, on that. Does it do any difference if I if I light up the monorail? Uh, it's too far away, damn it. If it was lower to the ground? Possibly, possibly. But we've come way too far now to lower the monorail. Okay, there we go. Let's have a look. So this is as much as I could light up really, and oh my god, you can really see it. Look at all the weird shadows it's casting because there's so many lights in here. You know what? That kind of adds to the feel, like a volcanic feel to this place. It's murky, it's dark, it's maybe a little bit smoky, bubbly in some places. But wow! Now, if we can get some sort of uh, lowering stand to view this as well, that would be fantastic. We might have to take out two of these things just to get that, but that would be really cool. <laughs> okay, okay, right. Uh, oh god, yeah, we might have to delete one. So, lower stand show view, let's have a look. I'm assuming it's just gonna be all rock. And... Yeah! Yeah, I, I, I mean, I thought as much. We could have that now, let's have a look. Show view. Oh, yes! <laughs> Doing some weird thing with the glare. I think that's because we've got the sun behind us and that's the way it's facing. Although, really, it shouldn't. We've got this whole thing. It's all submerged. We shouldn't be able to. Uh... Yeah, look at that. You see the monorails go through as well. Wow. That looks so cool. But would it look better on the other side? Because then we wouldn't have the sun. Oh, what's going on? Why can't I see anything? And... <gasps> Boom. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, hello, floating rock. Don't know what you're doing. This one here was definitely causing a little bit of an issue. So I'll move you up. And now we should be able to see a lot better. Let's have a look, show. No, no, lower, lower, lower. No, no, yeah. Okay, it's not happy with me adding stuff because there's already things there. But if we add it over there, move it over here. Now I should be able to add stuff. I guess we could put two. We could put one on that corner and then one on the opposite corner as well. So we'll place another one of those, move it to the other corner, and then I'll just see how much of a difference that's really made under the water. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, yeah, the walls have came through now because it's it does that with lagoons. You know, as soon as... Ooh, massive shoals of fish. 
as soon as you put something on the corner, it makes it diagonal rather than curved. So that's a bit of a bugger. Gonna have to go and fix that. But look, oh, it's starting to live it up. Starting at Shoals of Fish in here now. Whoop, whoop. That fix it. How about this wall? This wall good? Yep. Fix that wall. That's fantastic. And the opposite wall. Yeah, you know what? That little bit. I'm fine with that. It's a little nook for me to hide in. Be like, oh, look at this. That'd be so good. <gasps> if at the end we could make some sort of closed circuit camera system where we just flick through a bit, you know, like streaming. If we have like a loading screen or, or anything like that, like tea break. We can just have bits like this where you just see cameras from around the park. <gasps> It'd be like lagoon cam. Or not lagoon cam, cavern cam. Yes, it's brilliant. And now, all we're missing is the star of the show, the Dunkelostius. I'm wondering if one or two is okay in here. I feel like two's a push. You need probably one lagoon square per one, po possibly even two lagoon squares per one, I would say. But look at that. Oh, <laughs> it's so good. Get so excited when I see that monorail. I like a little kid. Oh, a train. <laughs> anyway, I'm not having random skins when I spent all this time making this enclosure. This has been ages. What the hell? Why do I have so many random dinosaurs? <laughs> this is amazing, though. Where's Dunkelostius? D, D, D. Dunkel Bunkle. Where's Dunkel Bunkle? There's Dunkel Bunkle. Oh, never mind. This is this is the great white shark. Yeah. Nope. This one. I just want Yukon River and blank pattern. Yeah, Yukon River, blank pattern. That's it. That's the that's the great white shark. Hell yeah. You know what it is? I don't really like the patterns for Dunkelostius. I feel as though this is a creature that probably wouldn't have random patterns on it. So I think what I'm going to go for is just blank pattern, Quillian, Yukon, and Salvbard. Maybe we'll have three. I don't know. I like those. Quillian, Yukon, Salvbard. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, of course. Yeah, hell yeah, we want this as well. So that their requirements for space and stuff is nothing. So maybe we could have to went to Dunkelostius shoulder to shoulder and it'd be completely fine. <laughs> because my game sort of glitched, I can't choose through or it doesn't do randomized like favorite patterns. So or if, at least if it is there, it doesn't show up because my game's weirdly glitched. Anyway, here we go. Releasing the first Dunkelostius into the enclosure. Oh God, please don't clip through the rocks too much. I'd appreciate that, thank you. Down it goes into the depths. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Glorious, look at you. Oh, avoiding the monorail, kind of. Just scratching your belly up. Ah! <laughs> Cut half by the monorail, I can't look. Uh -oh. <laughs> Uh oh, spaghetti. -o. <laughs> okay, uh, one's coming out. One's coming out. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. I'm gonna release the other ones as well. Looked so cool though. It looks so cool. Just, yeah, I'd rather you clip through than broke anything, dude. Like, just, just do that. I've spent so long on this. Don't have this waste. Like, look at that. That looks so good. Here comes another one! Yes! Okay, we need to give it a second, though. We need to give it a second. My heart's in my mouth now. Okay, there they are. They do have social... Limit, but look at this! Look at the train going through, like, where are they? Oh my god, it's above us in the rock! <laughs> Maybe what we could do is lift up the rocks a little bit more so it gives them more space so they're not like this all the time. Because I, I think I find it very rare that animals are at the bottom of the ocean. That they're, they're normally, in this game anyway, at the surface. And because they are at the surface, you can, I mean, you can quite clearly see that they just get lost in the rocks. So it might be a case of just trying to lift them out as much as possible. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, look, there they are. Oh, there we go. Sort of coming down. Come down to the level. Yes. Yes, beautiful. Oh, look at you. Glorious. Ah, chopping his tail fin. Yeah, but you're kind of still in the rocks. <laughs> All right, guys, give me a second. I've got a, I got a project on my hands, man. <laughs> I've got to lift up so many rocks. They will always clip through. That's a thing. They always will. But if we can sort of try and keep that to a minimum, I'll be happy. Having them down here is great. This is beautiful. 
But like I said, they don't normally like to be down here. They like to be exactly where the rocks are. <laughs> the problem might arise when I click on the Dunkleosteus, because that's what happened last time when I followed them. So maybe I just don't want to do that. There we go. Look at that. Ah, oh, that looks so cool in the depths. Beautiful. Oh, it really sounds as well, like the echoes and everything. And there's the monorail flipping through some fish, but beautiful. Wow. It looks so good in here, man. It really does. I want, I want to ride the monorail. I want to be, you know, I want to see what the people see. I want to be where the people are. Also, this is a work in progress. This is going to be the entrance to the Dunkleosteus cabin. And I haven't finished it yet. We haven't even made an entrance or an exit. I, I will do in a second. I just want to check this out. How does this look like? Can you see? Oh, I can't see. Okay, here we go. Oh, what they got there, King Kong? Ah! <laughs> and boo! Oh, yeah, there we go. One, two. Oh, God, we're going to hit it. Go. There's one. A humble little entrance. And we'll also open... Oh, there's no power at the gate. The gates need power? You see, at least with that one, the path's maybe obscured. I guess we could run with that. We could probably connect that path to something, I suppose. <laughs> so it doesn't just look like it's there. You don't really notice it like that, I suppose. When all of the gates fail me, that one never does. <laughs> never fails me. Look at that, straight in there. Ah, the way it fades as well. It looks legit. It really looks legit. I love it. Okay, I will continue to sort of fix this place up. You know, get it to look really good. But until then, guys. Oh, wait, what? Oh, yes. Oh, that was beautiful. It did eat the, the shark and it didn't clip into the uh, into the rocks. Hold on, we need to see that again. Oh, that looked so cool. Yes, it works. Oh, nothing better when everything sort of just works the way you meant it to. The shark's above you. Fishy. And in it goes. Oh, I love how the monorail moves at exactly the same speed as my camera does. That is odd. You know what? I'd rather have the Dunkloss just clip through the rocks than the alternative, which is that they, they break and the, the game constantly crashes. There's definitely something happening here. There it is. Nyam! <laughs> Weren't you? Yep. Don't know why I bothered thinking about your skins when you all look the same. <laughs> Come on. Someone get the sharky. Someone eat it. I love how they even give the Dunkleos just a noise. It's a, it's a fish. But they give it this weird, like, uh, uh like a grumble. <laughs> As if it has vocal cords. <laughs> That's crazy. It can't be silent. It needs to be able to communicate and act scary. Oh, oh Jesus! <laughs> what the dumpster? <laughs> I did not expect that. I was like, oh, it's made that noise again. Oh, gosh, came through the camera. Oh, that is beautiful, though. The fact that, you know, you can even see through there because I've actually clipped it onto the wall this time. Because <laughs> we only need one. Look at the two people. Hold on, we need to see the view through there. That's what we need. Hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, you're in the glare version. Oh, you do see something. Oh, did it oh I went for it as well. <laughs> Oh, I love that. That's br I'm amazing. Ah, oh, pretty should hire me to design work on parks for them. Or mods, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Again, like I said, in the next video, hopefully we'll be able to name the Bazillus or at least. I, I, I'll try not to work on uh, the fourth video before this one's live, so we can nickname the Dunkleosteus as well. Oh, God damn, Jonah! <laughs> But if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye bye.